So Derek Carr, obviously cut by the Raiders, is now starting to do his rounds as to where he might end up as a as a quarterback next year. And he's visited with the Saints, I believe it was. And he's visited with the New York Jets. And geez, they really buttered him up, made him feel good, saying that he'll be a first ballot Hall of Famer, saying that they'll win the Super Bowl with Derek Carr. And maybe that becomes the case. I don't think so. But I really like Derek Carr. I'm a huge fan of Derek Carr, especially if you look at what the current uh, where the the media perspective of Derek Carr is right now, I think that's really become uh, overblown. the The season he had this year obviously wasn't the best. Thirty five hundred yards, twenty four touchdowns, fourteen interceptions isn't as bad as people make that out to be. But that's a lot because of the Raiders' record, how they were pretty much out of it from the beginning of the season. I believe they were the last team to win a game, if not the last one of the last teams to win a game. Uh, but I, it looks like Derek Carr is going to be going to the Jets. Uh, D- Derek Carr or Aaron Rodgers is going to be going to the Jets. And I will be completely honest. I think Derek Carr is better than Tua. I think, he, first of all, something that is undeniable is he has a better arm than Tua. He is actually, accuracy-wise, not that far off. Last year, 2021, which was his best, best season this year, yes, he did fall off a little bit. But in his best season... Without his best receiver, without Devontae Adams coming over to the team, without his head coach, with their former first-round pick, Damon Arnett, being cut from posting guns. In a season that saw so much turmoil, that saw so much chaos, he got to the playoffs and had his best season as a pro. That was back in 2021, 4,800 yards, 23 touchdowns, 14 interceptions, and something that I really like to point out, 68.4 completion percentage. The best completion percentage Tua has ever seen is just over 67%. So Derek Carr's best season, uh, completion percentage-wise, is better than Tua's best. And it's not that his other years are that far off. Most of the time, you see Derek Carr throw between 62 and 66%. That is more than fine as an NFL quarterback, especially with the upside of the arm. Yeah, you're not getting the athletic ability. You don't have that with Tua. You have the accuracy. You have the, the arm talent. And you definitely have the reliability. Derek Carr doesn't get hurt. Everybody remembers how he missed the playoffs. His first playoff uh, could have been his first playoff appearance. And uh, what's the guy's? Connor Cook had to play in the game. What a terrible quarterback. Um, He had to play in the game instead of the Raiders lost. It was just a really bad football game. But Derek Carr since then has had very little injuries. In fact, he hasn't had a meaningful injury, a significant injury, all the way back since 2016. Had two fractures, got a fractured fibula. Pretty big deal. Uh, And it's a fractured finger. Those are the two most significant injuries we've seen from, from Derek Carr since as long as my research is correct. I have I did not I could not find a other significant injury from Derek Carr. So he is available. We know Tua isn't. That is one of the arguments that people make for why the Dolphins shouldn't pursue Lamar Jackson is because he has a similar issue of injuries over the last few years that we are talking with Tua. Why are you going to give up the farm, give up four first round picks, spend $60 million a year on a quarterback that can't stay healthy just as much as the quarterback that we're already complaining about. And to that, I'll say, fair point. I'll also say Lamar Jackson's a top five quarterback when he is playing, and if we continue to build on the offensive line, which would get harder because of the money and the picks we'd have to spend on Lamar Jackson, if we're able to protect him and keep the weapons around him, lose Mike Kosicki, of course, but Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle probably aren't going anywhere anytime soon. That's that's, that's an offense that could win a team a Super Bowl. This is not a Lamar Jackson video. I'll probably make a Lamar Jackson video. This is not a Lamar Jackson video. This is a Derek Carr video. Derek Carr can do many things that Tua cannot. And away from the, the game that I just talked about, so his arm talent, not athletic, but you know Tua isn't either. He's about just as accurate as Tua. Maybe throws a little bit more interceptions than Tua. But away from the game, away from who he is as a quarterback, who he is as a person, and I'm not saying Tua is a bad person by any means. That is not at all what I'm saying. Who Derek Carr is as a person has really impressed me over the last few years, especially just that 2021 season where everything that could have went wrong as a quarterback went wrong. Your star receiver kills somebody. Your head coach, who you've been battling with really since day one anyways, he gets fired. Your special teams coordinator becomes head coach. And you go on and have your best season as a pro. You win a must-win game, which is basically an extension of the playoffs. The the last game of the season, week 17, week 18. I don't remember if they had that extra game yet or not. But you win that game. Again, essentially a playoff game. 
part of the best game, part of your best season as a pro. And the way he carried himself, that press conference after, of course, uh, the tragic incident with Henry Ruggs, the press conference he held after that, where it was so easy that he could have been like, yeah, I'm disappointed in him. Uh, and just you know, bar- bury Henry Ruggs, basically. But I'm disappointed. You know, can't believe he did that. Uh, awful to see somebody. And all those things, you know, honestly, probably are true. But the way he carried himself, he's like, look, he needs somebody right now. He needs a friend right now. He needs somebody to pray for him. He needs somebody to be there for him because he's still a human. He made a horrible, tragic mistake. And I'm, I'm kind of putting more words into his mouth, but just basically what, off of what he said, somebody needs to be here, there for him. He's going to be a person. He's going to continue being a person. And he's going to face the punishment he's going to face. And he deserves to face it. But he's still somebody I love. He's still somebody I want to be there for. And that that really touched me. That really meant a lot to me for where everybody was going the complete opposite direction and was warranted to do so killing somebody drunk driving recklessly it was 100 percent warranted for the for the the heat be throwing to be thrown on him it made 100 percent sense it made it, it, it was warranted but for him to have the moxie to control that situation to be a, to step up and be the man that he needed to be in the moment and then continue on that successful season he had i'll never be able to forget that he really, he really won me over on a personal note, and then his play continued beyond that. Him coming into the Miami Dolphins, obviously nowhere near the issues that the Raiders sustained that season. What the Miami Dolphins do have is a Tua issue, a quarterback issue. I was listening into a Facebook group, basically just scream at each other. One side, pro-Tua. One side, anti-Tua. And I hated both of them. Just because these are grown adults screaming into a void of face of a Facebook group because of Tua Tagovailoa, I have my opinions on Tua. I think we can win games with him. I still rather us move on from him. I like to think of myself as a bridge between both fan bases: the pro Tua, the anti Tua. I am. I wouldn't say anti Tua, but I do think we're better off without Tua. So I guess that makes me slightly on this side of the bridge. But I do, you know, like to think of myself as the bridge of the two fan bases. Hearing both sides just scream at each other was disgusting. And this is not something this is something that's not going to go away until A, Tua takes us on a playoff run, or B, Tua is off the team, and then maybe a couple years. Because there's guys that would rather see Tua fail. And and I mean the Dolphins lose. There's there's people that rather see the Dolphins lose games because Tua sucks than have Tua be good. Dolphins fans, they'd rather Tua suck and Dolphins lose then the Dolphins be good because Tua is good. And then the flip side, there's Dolphins fans that would rather have Tua throw for 400 yards, but the Dolphins lose. I can't, I, I cannot wrap my head around that as a Dolphins fan, as somebody who spends my own money going to Dolphins games, season tickets, I cannot understand those type of fans. And I'm, if you're somebody who's watching that, who's watching and is on either of those sides who they'd rather Tua suck and the Dolphins lose or Tua be great and the Dolphins still lose. I'm not sorry. That is just a ridiculous mindset to have. Derek Carr coming in. He's not polarizing. Derek Carr is not somebody that a lot of people are strongly opinionated on. There's a lot of people with a negative opinion on him, but even then they're not strongly opinionated on Derek Carr. I like Derek Carr more than most. I'm not necessarily screaming from the hilltops about him. I very much like him. I think he'd do a great job as a Dolphins quarterback. He would come in and be a fresh breath of air for the organization. He'd come in every day with a smile on his face, ready to go to work, putting his chest back or shoulders back, chest up, head up high, and do what he's got to do. Because he's he's been slandered throughout his career. He's dealt with a lot of hardships in his career, and he's kept going. And he's kept winning games. He's kept being a successful quarterback. I think he'd continue to do that with Miami Dolphins. Again, through 4,800 yards not too long ago, I was in this recording studio working for this job basically at the same time he was doing this greatness. I haven't been working here that long. He, he was a great quarterback just a couple seasons ago. Not the best season last year, but I think he'd come in. Talent-wise, I think he's a little bit better. Yes, Manchester United just scored. Talent-wise, I think he's a little bit better. Mentally-wise, he's a little stronger. He'd come and be a leader. He'd be a fresh a breath of fresh air, and I think he could win the Miami Dolphins the Super Bowl.